Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really exciting. I am taking you guys through everything that I eat for an entire week. So I took the camera around and I literally filmed every single snack, meal, everything, no matter if it's healthy or not so healthy. So I'm gonna take you guys through everything I'm eating for an entire week. If you follow me over on Instagram, I'm always sharing what I'm eating on my stories and I feel like you guys like to see food. I love to see what people are eating. So I like to make these videos just to give you guys some ideas for new snacks or lunches or dinner ideas. I definitely try to eat as healthy as possible, but there are times where I splurge or I'll eat out. I'm not gluten-free. I don't have a gluten allergy or anything like that, but I just try to eat gluten-free 99% of the time because it makes me feel my best. I'm taking you guys through what I'm eating Monday through Friday. Usually on the weekends, I will splurge a little bit more. I'm usually with family on the weekends. If I do eat out like fast food, it's always Chick-fil-A. I will say that, either Chick-fil-A or Chipotle. So let's get into the vlog. I'm having water and coffee to start the day. I literally just woke up finishing my water and then drinking a huge cup of coffee while I have a meeting. And then after that, I'm gonna make breakfast. It's really late, it's like 12 o'clock. I just made some late breakfast and then I'm gonna eat this and head to the gym. It's an egg and two egg whites, a piece of gluten-free toast with avocado and everything but the bagel seasoning and then leftover blueberries. I just got back from the gym. I am heating up some leftovers from last night. Last night I made like chipotle bowls. Oh, I forgot that I made beans. Yes. So I made chipotle bowls. So I have some rice, peppers and onions, and some black beans. And then I have some chicken in the oven. I don't usually use my microwave that much, but I'm too lazy to heat on the stove here is my little chipotle bowl i have white rice black beans peppers and onions some chicken i just baked in the oven with chili powder garlic powder and some salt and then i have some guac and some pico and i'm gonna eat a few of these organic tortilla chips on top it is dinner time. Honestly, I'm not that hungry. I went to the grocery store because I needed to get some melatonin. My sleep schedule and my eating schedule routine is just thrown off from Ramadan. I have been waking up really late and going to sleep so late. I just can't fall asleep. Since quarantine and Ramadan, my sleep schedule's just been so thrown off. So I picked up melatonin. I also picked up some berries. I got blueberries and blackberries. I wasn't in the mood for like anything to eat. So I just got some fruit and then I'm going to eat it with this. It is Siggy's Vanilla Non-Fat Yogurt. I'm making an egg and an egg white and then some avocado toast. Toast is in the toaster. I'm going to eat and then go work out. It is 9.30. This is just what I usually eat. This is gluten-free bread with the everything but the bagel seasoning. I got this huge thing of olive oil because I was out because I like to make eggs with olive oil and some coffee. So I'll finish this and then head to the gym. I just got back from the gym. I'm going to make a protein shake. This isn't like good. I don't know how to put it any other way. I can't really sip on it. I just kind of down it to get some protein in. It is the Terra's Way grass-fed vanilla protein powder. I like the vanilla. I also like the chocolate. It's really good if you want to do like smoothies. I'm just going to drink it straight because I think I'm going to make a juice or something later and maybe a turkey wrap or something. So I just want to get some protein in. And then I'm also drinking this collagen protein. So I'm going to put these two together. So I put like that much water because I'm just gonna down it. Like I said, I'm not gonna sip on it. Like I said, not the most delicious thing, but helps me get some protein in. So I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna get some work done. I have to go return a bunch of stuff at the mall. I'm finally returning my dresses that were backup options for our Kids Big Tab engagement party. I had them forever and you have to make an appointment to return. And I went to the mall not knowing that and I went during the time a lot of the protests were going on and they actually shut down the mall. And we were driving around the mall for like 10 minutes trying to figure out where we could get in. <laughs> And then we realized it wasn't open. Finally going today to return all of that. So I'm gonna get some work done. Probably eat lunch in like an hour or so. I'm already hungry for lunch. I am making a turkey wrap with these almond flour tortillas. So I'm just gonna heat this one up a little bit. And then for the inside, I'm going to do avocado, cucumber, black olives, turkey, some spinach, and everything but the bagel seasoning. I was eating these a lot at home during quarantine with my family with like regular bread. So I wanted to kind of make it a little bit healthy 
healthier, which this is super healthy, but I wanted to make it gluten-free, I guess I should say. I really like eating something simple like this for lunch because usually I'm busy and I don't want to like actually cook something. So it's nice to have things for turkey sandwiches or turkey wraps that you can just like quickly put together. Here's what it looks like. Then I'll just wrap it up. Can't wrap it up with one hand, but I want to show you guys what it looks like. So good. I'm making a little afternoon pick-me-up. I don't always make lattes and honestly after Ramadan I have not been able to drink as much coffee as I usually do. I'm gonna try it out. So I took out my Nespresso. I've had this since college. It's a really old version but it does the trick and it's still available so I will link it for you guys. I am using the Nespresso Cozy Pod which I'll also link. You just press button. So I'm gonna do probably the small. <laughs> This is the espresso that I'm using. It's called Cozy. It's super smooth. It comes in a pack that I ordered on Amazon with a bunch of different ones. I'll link that down below. Also, Mama needs to upgrade this cup because I'm no longer a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm using ice. I'm also going to use some coconut milk. I really like coconut milk with coffee. Adds a little bit of sweetness. There's no added sugar to this one. Let's taste test. Mmm, so good. Coconut milk is just super refreshing. I don't like coconut milk and anything else other than smoothies and coffee. I'm having a little snack before I make dinner. So this is rice cakes with hummus and cucumbers and some lemon juice. It has a lot of protein in it and it's super filling. Just will tide me over till I make dinner. So for dinner, I'm going to make a vegetarian masaka. It has eggplant, chickpeas, onions, bell peppers. You just saute everything and bake it in the oven. I always get this at an Arabic restaurant that's literally right down the road from me. I was really craving it. And my mom made it once, so I called her and asked her for the recipe. And it's super easy. I'm gonna share it with you guys. So I already put the eggplant in the oven. I just peeled it. I cut it. I put it in the oven with just a little bit of olive oil. Then I'm going to saute the onions, bell pepper, and garlic in a pan. Here is the bell peppers, onions, and garlic. I'm about to put in some spices and the chickpeas and tomato paste. For spices, I'm just using salt and pepper, a little bit of cumin, and a little bit of turmeric. the tomato paste, some water, a little bit of vinegar, and the chickpeas in here. And then I put all the spices. And honestly, you can use like whatever spices you have. All spice would be good for this. I just used whatever I had. Here's the finished product I'm gonna put in the oven. I think I'm gonna cover it with some foil and then I'll bake it for like 15 minutes and then I'll take the foil off to kind of brown the top. Here is the final product gonna try it. I put some white rice with it, just some basmati rice. I wish the tomato sauce was a little bit not as thick, so next time I'll know not to do that. Morning you guys, I am a hot mess today. I woke up at like 8.30 and it's like 9.30 right now. I just made a quick breakfast. I'm kind of like almost out of avocados. I used the rest of one avocado with a gluten-free piece of toast and then an egg. This is just like a usual morning breakfast. Just got back from the gym. I had a protein shake, same as yesterday, and I heated up some leftovers from last night. I also added some black olives to it. I always like something like tangy, like black olives or banana peppers. So for dinner tonight, I have salmon, and I wanna make salmon with like a spicy seasoning. I'm not sure exactly what yet, and then rice and a salad. So I have like cilantro, red onion, stuff like that. So I'll catch up with you guys later today for dinner. It is 4.30 and I'm already starting on dinner. I'm really hungry and I just want like a big warm meal. I'm going to make this salmon recipe that Mara, if you follow Lena's husband's sister on Instagram, she shared this recipe. It is salmon. This is what it looks like. That's the salad. And then it's like this spice mix with brown sugar, paprika, and olive oil. And then you put that on the salmon with some rice. That is what I'm going to make. I'm really tired of being in the kitchen, honestly, but I'm really hungry, so I need to eat this. And I have like a lot of stuff I need to do on my computer. So we're gonna get this done so I can eat 
and then be on my computer. <laughs> Here's the final product, you guys. I made the salad. I didn't want to use any mango, actually, so I put avocado, cilantro, red onion, a little bit of olive oil, salt, and lime. Oh my gosh, you guys. So good. You guys definitely have to try this. It's delish. Good morning, you guys. I've been up since 8 o'clock. It's now 11. Um, I've been editing a video for my sister. I just finished a cup of coffee and some water, and I'm making breakfast over here. So I have an egg and two egg whites, and today I'm making some oatmeal, mainly because I ran out of toast and avocados. I'm going to put blueberries, some ground flaxseed, and some honey. I'm gonna whip this up, and then I'm gonna head to the gym. Sorry, you guys. I meant to say ground chia seed, not ground flaxseed, and then I put a little bit of cinnamon cinnamon on top and if I had some almond milk I would put that in here too and that is breakfast I used to eat this all the time in college like this exact thing I'm having a little snack which will probably end up being my lunch because I'm filming some stuff today and I'm gonna take a shower later and eat dinner I'm eating some leftover guac with some tortilla chips these are the chips all that's in here is avocado, lemon, white onion. I really like to put red onion, but I didn't have any red onion. Then I put some garlic powder and salt, and then I just mash it with a fork. I eat so many avocados, you guys. <laughs> Healthy fats, but probably too much fat. I don't know, whatever. It is dinner time. I am making some pesto pasta with shrimp. So I sauteed my shrimp with just lemon pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and salt. And then I'm going to just saute it in a pan. This is the pasta I'm using. It's the Bonza chickpea pasta. So for the pesto, it is basically just basil, pine nuts, and olive oil. You can add cheese if you want, but I'm not going to, so I washed all this basil. I hate it because I love this dish. Mohammed can't eat this because he's allergic to nuts. So I'm going to do about a spoon and a half, and then it takes quite a bit of olive oil, but I'm going to start off like that much. You'll be able to tell once you're like mixing it because you want it to be pretty creamy. Here's the final result. It looks super green, but I added some Kalamata olives because I really like Kalamata olives with pesto. So I'm gonna eat this and finish Married at First Sight. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I just made a huge cup of coffee. I've realized that my breakfasts are always the same. They're either eggs and avocado toast or eggs and oatmeal, and I'm really sorry. I need to switch it up, but I've always been like this like my whole life. I just eat the same thing for breakfast every morning, and I never really get tired of it. I went to the gym early this morning before I ate, so I'm really hungry now, so I made two avocado toasts, an egg, and two egg whites. As you can see, my apartment is kind of a disaster. I'm kind of like hiding as much as I can from you guys, but today I am cleaning my apartment. That's why I got up early so that I have time to clean everything. I'm going to wash my sheets. I'm going to vacuum, mop, literally everything. I just need to feel a little bit more not so cluttered in here. Also, how cute is this sweatshirt I got? It just says, oh please, it's like a tan color and it's really oversized. I like rolled the sleeves up. I think I should have gotten my usual size four. I sized up and it's already oversized so it's like extra oversized for me but I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. I am going to eat breakfast and drink this coffee and then I'll probably eat lunch a little bit later today since I'm just now eating and it's like it's like 10 15 so I'll catch up with you guys around lunchtime. I am making a little snack. I wouldn't necessarily call this my lunch because it's just a snack and I feel like today I'm just gonna be snacking until dinner. I'm making the rice cakes with hummus and cucumbers but I want to show you guys how I make them. So this is the rice cake brand that I like. I really like this brand but these are thin stackers so they're more of like a square. They look like this and so I'll just put hummus and some cucumbers on it and then I like some lemon and like salt on it. It's really good. mask the baby facial face mask from drunk elephant my skin is a little red that is why i'm making a little snack because your girl is a snacker these two together are so good dried apricots this nut mix is so good it is cashews almonds pecans and then it has olives like dried olives in it 
you know how in trail mix you like pick out the M&Ms? I'm like picking out the olives. This is my little snack. It is dinner time. I have been on my computer and filming all day today, so I didn't want to cook. And it's Friday, so why not celebrate? I got Chipotle. I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys my Chipotle order before. I'll show you again. I always get chicken, white rice, no beans, peppers and onions, corn, medium salsa, and romaine lettuce. And I haven't had Chipotle in so long, so this looks so delish. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see next on my channel. I always like to hear from you guys what you want to see here. Please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss another video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!